Well, a mandate is a directive from uh, a different level of government. So it can be from the federal government to the state of New York, which the governor has been talking about recently, the SALT deduction and the loss of the ability to deduct income taxes and property taxes from your federal tax returns. That hurt New York State. He's complained about the unfairness of that mandate from the federal government to the state. So it's a directive from another unit of government that uh, demonstrates uh, an ability to act or pay for something, in this case, a loss of ability to pay for something. So the mandate monitor was put out as a reminder both to the state legislature and to the governor and to our own members uh, on how to quantify these mandates over time. I think with the changeover in elected officials at the county level and the new f officials that came in, in particular to the state senate and also in the state assembly, they have forgotten how we got to where we were and why property taxes are as high as they are. So this document serves as a reminder to quantify the impact of state actions in our communities locally, but also a reminder to the state legislature to reject proposals. We have several proposals, again, advanced by the state, mandating spending at the local level, for instance, using internet sales tax to pay for historically what has been a hundred year old revenue sharing program, directing and mandating counties to pay local governments sales tax payments. That's a mandate. That's got to stop. This behavior has to stop. Well, we have two forms of revenue at the local level, property taxes and state sales taxes that are, and local taxes that are collected. So the actions of the state are removing, siphoning away the ability to use local property taxes. We're using 99% of those property taxes right now for dictates or mandates out of Albany. We can't use it in our community. Public safety, 911. You call a phone, you need help, that comes from local property taxes. Very little state revenue is funding those types of programs. That's a real problem. Our members need to do this immediately. We have to remind the state legislature, our governor, of the fiscal impact locally of these mandates. They need to Fill out this chart here, 2018, 2019, these shifts, what's happening in our community, and connect with their state lawmakers within the next 10 days by the third week of March as the state continues to negotiate this state budget.